Flight director is go for launch. Minus five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. Vehicles pitching downrange. Director Chamber Pressure Nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the Rumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. Booster and ship, that avionics power, telemetry nominal. Thirty three Raptor engines. Max Q. Now pass through the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the most stress the vehicle's gonna see on the way uphill. All right, our next our next major milestone. So hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. Ship engine There's start up. most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster. Stage booster separation. Start hot stage confer separation confirmed. Ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. And we did hear that the tower is go for catch. So that was one of the big criteria we were looking for. And so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch. That means it's gonna be a really exciting morning. Again, the booster is making its way back towards uh, now land um, in order to make that catch attempt in the tower. <laughs> Try and catch it using the chopsticks on the launch tower, the exact same tower that it just launched from just, wow, five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was sent to the tower. Uh, we are go for catch. It's gonna happen in three phases. We're gonna land 13 <laughs> engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. for booster catch. We're gonna ignite 13 of those Raptor engines and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Sure the first Landing burn. 13 engines. Ignited. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. We're, we're losing our stuff on here. <laughs> Guys, I'm, 
I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> even in this day and age, what we just saw, that looked like magic. That oh, was... wow. Damn, wow. You, you must have been insane. <laughs> we are still going wild over here over this. Folks, this is a day for the engineering history books. Blackout. We, of course, are still testing Starlink during this phase of flight, so nothing is certain. But if we do have... But when you put 18,000 of them together, they add up to 10.5 tons, which is incredible. Now, we did mention earlier that the heat shield has been completely reworked. Oh, to the atmosphere, to help on flip the ship um, until the engines point down so that it can land using the Raptor's thrust in the ocean. So that will happen after we get through this re-entry period. Um, again, now starting to see, and we also might start to see the Starship, as Dan mentioned a few minutes ago. Uh, we are hoping that all four flaps will stay more intact than they did last time. We did make some changes to the design in order to help enable this. is now experiencing peak heating, remains on a nominal entry trajectory. Visually see uh, more of what's happening in that area. And again, we have uh, improved our uh, heating tiles, and so hopefully we've protected the hinge uh, a lot better this time. Chill has started. But again, these views are ad additional um, to the Once again, Starship now at T plus one hour and nine seconds into its flight today, re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, uh, currently about 45 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, now 42 kilometers away. Starship is on target, approaching landing burn startup. So keep an eye on the bottom right-hand side of your screen as well. That will be the indicator when the Raptor engines ignite, if we are unable to see that illumination ourselves. Landing bird startup. <laughs> what a cool view of the reflection of that landing bird. An incredible view. I think it is safe to say we have a ship in the water. <laughs> Touchdown! That wow. is a light hit the ocean surface. <laughs> what an incredible end to Starship's journey. A live view from a buoy that we had out at the landing zone. An incredible view of a ship landing just about on target as they were calling out. <laughs>